What's going on guys, this is Amal from Tech Leathercraft. In this video, I want to do a quick review of the Samsung 2-in-1 wireless charger. It is a portable battery pack wireless charger. Now I will say a quick public service announcement here. Even if you're not into this specific Samsung branded ones, uh, I do think it is super important to have one of these uh, battery packs, even if it's not a wireless charging one. If you have a phone that does not have a removable battery, it's super important to keep one of these in your purse, in your bag, even at the office. In an emergency situation, if you run out of battery power on your phone, it really is not a good thing. If you're out without power somewhere and you're stranded somewhere for two, three days, you want to be able to have a way to charge your phone and be in touch with people as you need. So I won't get into it in this video. I am working on a video for emergency preparedness and tech. Something like this is definitely on the list. I will post some links in the description to like Anchor, who makes some really nice portable battery chargers like this. Uh, without the wireless charging. If you're not interested in this specific one, I strongly suggest though that you carry uh, one or two or have them around and have your family members have these too. I'll get off my soapbox and let's get into reviewing this. So this is a new product from Samsung. It was announced the same time the S10 came out. So this has a couple of cool features other than being a standard battery pack. And I will talk about some cons about this in a little bit, but just to review the specs, this is a portable battery pack. It is rated at 10,000 milliamps. One of the cool things with it though, is that you can charge two devices at the same time. So you can see it has, first of all, the LED indicators showing how much power you have and it does have the light that cycles a red, green, orange. And then on the side is a USB port. So you can basically use this for any device. You can plug in the USB port, whether it's a micro USB cable, a lightning cable. It does charge with the included USB-C cable. And of course you can just use it as a traditional battery pack and not worry about the wireless function if you don't want to. But what this adds is this little circular pad that says fast charging. It does support 7.5 watts wireless charging. Now I will say that the Samsung S10 is capable of taking 12 watts of wireless charging. So it is not maxing out the fast charge that your S10 is capable of, but for something like the Note 9, whatever, the 7.5 watts does trigger fast wireless charging. And on the S10, it also triggers fast wireless charging. I'm not too worried about that. It still does fast charge the S10 in a really good amount of time. So if you're in the Samsung ecosystem, this is a really great option. Or well, in theory, and hypothetically, this should also work because it is G certified. Uh, it should also technically work with charging the iPhone, charging your Apple Watch. And hypothetically, it should also charge your AirPods with a wireless charging case. So this is a really cool battery pack if you're in the Samsung ecosystem or any ecosystem at all. And what I mean by that is if you have a phone, if you have a watch, and if you have like the wireless earbuds, for example, with a Samsung, you can charge your Samsung S10, any Samsung device that supports wireless charging. You can also charge your Samsung Galaxy Watch or your Samsung Gear S3 or any Samsung watch that supports wireless charging by placing it on the circular imprint right here. And you can also charge your Samsung Galaxy earbuds, the new ones that have the wireless charging case. And so what it allows for is for you to charge multiple devices at the same time. And what I mean by that is you can actually plug in, start charging your Samsung phone, and then put on either the watch or the Galaxy Buds and also charge wirelessly on the, from the top of the pad. And so that's a really nice function. The other option that this allows for is you can actually plug this in as if you were charging it, as if you were powering it back up. You can actually plug this into an AC outlet and that will of course start charging the battery pack but you can also then place something on the wireless pad. It will also start charging that. So it's a really nice function because it essentially becomes a wireless charging pad, just general, uh, portable or not. Once it's plugged into the wall, you can charge your phone, your watch, and your buds. If you're going on a night trip, you can stick it on your nightstand and you can use it in that manner also. The other nice thing I like about it is that it's actually the perfect size for the Samsung S10, this is the regular S10, and I can actually just hold the charging pad and then put the phone on top of it and use the phone while it's wirelessly charging. So this pad is available in the silver gray color that you see. They also have this pinkish rose gold color. On Amazon, the price of these seem to fluctuate. I think I've seen these as low as $45, between 45 to 60. You can go check that out. I will have links to these in the description. Now, some cons I will mention really quick. As you can see from the packaging earlier, it does not come with a pouch of any kind or a case. So you're gonna have to go find some kind of a neoprene or padded case. Uh, for me, it's probably not a big deal. I'll probably end up making a small leather sleeve or pouch for this. I do wish they had included something simple like a small neoprene or velvet pouch. And of course they did not include an AC adapter. One thing I'll point out is that it does require a fast charge wall charger, like one that came with your phone to fast charge the actual battery pack and to enable fast charging through the port. The other negative I will mention is that even though it shows 
10,000 milliamps of power, it says the usable capacity with normal typical use is 6,600 milliamps. And if you're fast charging, it is 3,100 milliamps. So I'm not quite sure what that means. So what I think the specs may be referring to uh, is the wireless charging. Wireless charging in itself is not very power efficient. And so you are losing a lot of energy in the wireless transfer scenario. If you want to take advantage of the full 10,000 milliamps, or at least the most out of this battery pack you can, I would strongly advise using just the cable to charge, not the wireless charging. If you know you are in an emergency situation and you really need to make this thing last as long as possible. If you're interested in tech, leathercraft, EDC, and multi-tool stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the social media stuff. All those links and information will be in the description below. If you are interested in ordering any of the leather items you saw in the video, like my Samsung Gear cut leather cuff or the Samsung Galaxy Buds case slash holster, you can go check them out on my website. The website is techleathercraft.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.